Hey, how's everybody doing on this wonderful day? Welcome to More Sports. I'm your host, Devin Moore, and uh, Happy New Year's, everybody. I uh, know as when this episode comes out, it'll be the new 2020. It'll be 2023. Hope everybody had a happy New Year's and is going on strong with the New Year's. If you're anything like me, you've got to burn off that Christmas holiday food and and get back in the gym and do all them fun things. But hey, it's good to be in 2023. Good to be still going nice and steady for more sports. Thank you for everybody for listening. And today's going to be another mini episode. And this is an interesting mini episode because I just wanted to wanted to share this story, and uh, I can't make this up. This is actually a a coaching story. I'm gonna call it a coaching story of what I experienced about about mm, a week ago. Yeah, it was it was last week actually, and it's and it's about a player and his monkey, and we'll begin right out of this quick transition. Alright, so, a little background about the story before we begin. Um, anybody that's a constant, constant listener knows that I coach for a living, and it's never a dull moment. Never, never a dull moment. And, you know, anybody that's out there that listens to this podcast as coaches as well, then uh, you know that working with kids, it's never dull. You always think you're going to have a nice, simple day. Nah. It ain't happening. Something interesting always comes up. Our interesting conversations, per se. And uh, this is one of those stories that I'm about to dive right in. And so, so here's how the story begins. So, this literally happened last week. It happened last... Mm, I'd say last... No, it was last Friday. Last Friday morning, you know... Where I'm currently coaching at now is we have the kids in the morning time. We don't have them in the afternoon, which means I get to go home at 3.05. But that's a story for another day. And one of our kids comes up to us as a staff. And he goes, they go, he goes, Ooh, excuse me, he goes, coach, guess what? And we're like, what's up? He goes, I got a pet monkey. And we're looking at him. What do you mean you have a pet monkey? He's like, Coach, I have a pet monkey named Eugene. Now, in the back of my mind, I'm like, all right, he's joking. He's got to be like 100% pulling our legs. And like he's joking he's going to run away. Or he's going to pull up a picture of the marsupial monkey from Friends. And we're like, and then my head coach goes, what's the name of this monkey? And the player goes, his name's Eugene, coach. And we're like, where did you get Eugene? He's like, in Atlanta. And we're all just like, oh, no. He went to Atlanta. He done went to some shady corner in Atlanta. A man in a trench coat done gave him a rabbit monkey from God knows where. And so my head coach is asking questions. He's like, okay, you got it in Atlanta. Now, how much did you pay for Eugene? Player goes, Coat, got him for four hundred dollars. He's just a baby. And we're like, okay, are you sure he's a monkey? You sure he's not like I don't know, a tiger? Cause you just never know these things. Just like, man. So this boy's gonna get eaten by a tiger or a man gorilla or something. And he's like, No, his name's Eugene, he's a marsupial. I got a picture of him. And then my head goes, Alright, hold on, we'll get to that in a second. So my head coach goes, so wait, you got him in Atlanta for $400. And he was like, who went with you? He's like, he's like, what's the name of the store? The player goes, I don't know, coach. My mama took me. My head coach goes, okay. Was this store open during the daytime? Or was it nighttime when you went up? The player goes, my coach, it was daytime. Uh... Oh, coach, it's daytime when we went in there. And, you know, we're cracking jokes. We're like, oh, great. It's the Joe Exotic. It's the Joe Exotic 
pet in the, or pet shop in Atlanta. And so we're thinking, he done got a monkey from nowhere. We're like, how old is he? And we're like, we're like, who's watching the monkey right now? Player goes, oh, I'm about to go see him. He's in his cage snapping when in the morning. I got him to lay down. We're like, you train your monkey to lay down? He's like, yeah, he's pretty good. Except right now, it's annoying. He keeps sucking his thumb. I got him to stop sucking his thumb. Mac and mine, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Right. Welcome to early parenthood. Teach him to stop sucking his thumb. And then my head coach goes, whoa, whoa, here's the most important question. Where does it poop? Oh, coach, it's trained on a pad. I'm like a cat. And I just asked, I'm like, wait, so your monkey, named Eugene, that sucks on his thumb, that you're trying to break, poops in a pad like a litter box. Oh, coach, yep, yep. And then he asked me, he's like, coach, can I bring it to school? With me and put him in my jacket. In the back of my mind, I was like, you know how dope that would be to have a monkey on my back, walking around to school with a monkey on my back, being like, this is my new pet monkey. But in reality, you can't do that in schools, man. I'm, I just looked at him, I'm like, nah, man, you can't do that. You're gonna get written up. You're gonna be written up, and you're gonna, then I'm gonna have you and your pet monkey in ISS with me all day, and I'm have other kids looking at it. Asking questions. And Coach Devin, don't get paid enough for this, man. He's like, oh. So I can't bring my pet monkey to school? I was like, no, don't. Don't bring your pet monkey to school. You keep the pet monkey at the house. If anything, you take pictures and videos if you teach him any cool tricks. He's like, oh, okay, Coach, I will. And in the back of my mind, all I can think of, I was like, you know. I would love for him to come to school with that monkey in his jacket. Principal sees it. Next thing you know, he's the principal's gun on his back. He's making a YouTube video on it because my principal, where I'm coaching at currently, is a YouTuber with thousands of subscribers. And I could just see him promoting his brand with a pet monkey on his back. And you cannot make this stuff up. But hey, you can't make this stuff up. But Again, this is again this is another mini episode I wanted to make for the new year. This story I actually wanted to share with everybody because I was like, no one's gonna believe this story. You know, I was like, the world wouldn't believe this story. So hey, thought I'd make another mini episode and share it with you guys out there. But hey, as always, thanks for listening. I know the latest episode, uh, Coach Prime moving up, got a bunch of plays. I appreciate as always. I appreciate the love and support. Hey, don't forget to check out another podcast. I'm on Random Hour, the Random Hour with Kyle Crump, where we do. Wacky and zany things. Think of it as another as a variety podcast called Good Mythical Morning. And don't forget to check out our popcorn buckets podcast. We review every a movie every Sunday. Oh, and we're on YouTube at Random Corporate where podcast episodes will be on there and some original content that me and Kyle have worked on. And we're uh, actually going to be in the process of working on some more stuff for 2023. So as always, thanks for listening, guys, and have a wonderful day.